Entering his fourth varsity season with Wharton, Chase Litton has all the tools to succeed. We don't need it. Six foot five frame, uh, also the control that he has with his uh, passes. Uh, he can make pretty much all the throws that you ask of a high school quarterback and then a Division I college quarterback, whether it be a 50-yard you know, go route to an 18-yard comeback to a five-yard slant. He has command of all those passes. And while those skills have allowed him to operate like a surgeon on the field, at times he has struggled off it. Like on a night in late December 2011 when a bad decision led to several burglary and theft charges. Charges that were later dropped. And now, almost two years later, it's a decision you won't soon forget. The thing that got me upset the most is, isn't myself, isn't anything else, but mostly my family's name and my teammates. Um, I'll never forget the faces that was on my parents' face that night. I'll never forget the look my, my players gave me when I walked into the locker room. That night, from here on out, it's just, life has turned around a lot. And now that a recent decommitment from USF has put him back in the recruiting pool, he knows the distractions won't go away, but that all he can do is focus on each game. Well, honestly, I mean, it's just, this is how I look at it, it's game by game, uh, play by play, uh, quarter by quarter. And um, I don't want to look too far ahead, and I don't want to sit there and, and moan about if we lose a game or the past. I want to sit there and enjoy each game and, and take care of each game. And if you were looking for a hint as to where Linton might commit, he's not giving out any. But he did just pick up a new offer, the University of Toledo. From Wharton High School, Pat Walter, TBO.com.